guys, welcome to SourceFed Nerd. I'm Steve Zaragoza. I'm Trisha Hirschberg. On this show, we're going to talk about apps, and not just one or two, a whole nope. bunch of them. A ton of apps, yeah. just for you. First up, I want to talk about a little game called Whale Trail. It's all colorful and amazing and cute. Look at that whale go. The game is really super addicting, and it uses the motion controls on the iPhone. One of my favorite aspects of the game is the music. It's all catchy and awesome. Listen to that music. Ooh, I like catchy music. It's like a dude with an acoustic guitar. I can just imagine that guy has like a big beard, or maybe he's weird looking. I imagine that guy might be like you, Steve. So the game is available on iOS for free 50. That's free dollars and 50 cents, except knock off that 50 cents. It's just free. It's also available on Android for $2.99. Or you can get it for free, but it has ads. Wah, wah. It's also in-app purchases. But that's okay, because it's still free. Hey, Trisha, you ever had the movies, and you're like, I wonder if there's anything after the credits after this movie. Yes, and then I'm like Google searching on my phone and trying to hide the light from everybody around I know. me. Well, guess what? There's an app called Anything After, and it tells you if there's something after the movie, after the credits. All the content on the app is user generated, so if I see a movie and I know something's after the credits and other people don't know, I can type it out on there. And if it's worth seeing or waiting for, which I think is super valuable, I use it and have used it after every movie I've seen recently. I love it. So Anything After is available on iOS only for 99 cents. An Android equivalent is maybe in the works. I don't know if it's true or not. But something that is available on Android that is very fun is Sniper. Shooter. You know, if you're really angry, like if you've had a bad day at work or like road ragey and you just want to shoot some people, you can totally do that on your phone. Wait, and it's legal? It is legal. Well, what I really like about it is that the people are very stick figurey, and it tells you like they have bad criminal background. <laughs> so you don't feel as bad just totally shooting them in the head. You use the phone's motion sensors to line up your sight and then tap the screen to shoot that guy in the head. So if there's a raper and he's been touching small boys, you can shoot that guy in the head you can and win? You can shoot that guy in the head and win. And it's free on both iOS and Android. Next up is the game Pixel Dungeon. It's totally pixelized art style, which is cool. And mm. you guessed it, you're in a dungeon. It's a roguelike adventure game where you get to run around and the items and monsters are randomly generated every single time completely differently. So it's like a different game all the time. And the best part is it's completely free. <gasps> no in-app purchases, no ads. Pixel Dungeon is available for free in both Android and Amazon markets. Trisha, you know I like to sing. I know you like to sing. And then I like to sing. And then you like to wave your hand. There's an app called Sing, and it's basically like a karaoke app, but it works via a community, which is really cool. Smule made it. It comes with like three or four songs instantly in the app, which is free. And then you could also buy songs. They're like a dollar a piece. There's popular tunes, Disney tunes, classic tunes. And basically, you just put in your headphones. You can isolate the audio track. There's like a karaoke readout on the screen, so you, so you never miss those lyrics. You sing it into your thing. You could add echo and different voice effects. And then when you're done, you can share it with your friends or not. You don't have to. And the echoes make me sound like a good singer. Yeah, boy. Oh, it's like, it's like filters for your vocals. Oh, yeah, boy. Also, a really cool feature is, is you can join in on a song with people. So, like, let's say I sang a song and you're like, oh, I want to sing along with that person. You totally can. It's like a duet mode. And you could add up to, like, 15 to 20 other people and you can have all these voices layered in. And if it's done right, it sounds amazing. That's what friends are supposed to do. So Sing is only available on iOS, although Smule has also made a Glee app that you can get on the Android, which is essentially the same thing, but with Glee songs. But you can get it on iOS for free, and it also has in-app purchases like songs and stuff. So now we've got Blindscape. This is a game that's completely based on sound. The punishment fits the crime. Got it. I never thought I'd see the day where opening a door constituted a major victory. Which is really cool when you're playing it on the HTC One because it's got that dual speaker surround sound going so you can hear stuff that's on the right, stuff that's on the left. And you're kind of poking around in the dark. You're this dude who totally wants to off himself in an authoritarian society. And it's a super emotional game. And even though the game isn't that long, I have a feeling there's going to be more to come. So make sure you check it out. It's available completely for free on iOS, Android, and Windows. Trisha, have you ever played endless runner games like Temple? run yeah. or like doodle jump which is like an endless jumper type mm -hmm. game. The app is called Dead Ahead. You ride on a motorcycle and crash into zombies. It's very cartoony and cool but also very gory and violent. I found myself being super addicted to the game because there's power-ups and upgrades and more motorcycles and really cool things that happen. Like there's bosses, which is really Ooh. cool. Something I've never experienced in an endless runner type game. Dead Ahead is free on iOS and Android, or you can pay 99 cents to get rid of those pesky ads, but it didn't bother me none. And the coolest app that I've seen in a 
while is Heads Up, which is actually created by Ellen DeGeneres. It's what? a game that she plays on her show. Where you hold your phone up to your head like this, and only your friend or multiple friends can see what it says. You have to try to guess it. You get it right, you tilt down. If you get it wrong, you tilt up, and it shifts to a new card. So it's incorporating the motion sensor, plus playing with all your friends, and it videos your friends' reactions that you can automatically upload to Facebook later for a good laugh. Oh, snap. I love it. <laughs> it's only available on iOS at the moment for 99 cents. However, there are unofficial fan-made apps on Android that you can get as well. So that's it for all these apps, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like it. If there's an app you'd like us to review or check out or play in SourceFed Plays or even Versus, let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. You can click this annotation that went just across Steve's cleavage to subscribe to SourceFed Nerd or to go to SourceFed.com and see all our typed out stuff. My name's Trisha Hirschberg. I'm Steve Zaragoza. Trisha, let's go play some games. Okay, bye. Hey guys, welcome to the SourceFed Nerd. I'm Steve Zaragoza. I'm Trisha Hirschberg. On this show, we're going to talk about apps, and not just one or two, a whole nope. bunch of them. A ton of apps yeah. just for you. First up, I want to talk about a little game called Whale Trail. It's all colorful and amazing and cute. Look at that whale go. The game is really super addicting, and it uses the motion controls on the iPhone. One of my favorite aspects of the game is the music. It's all catchy and awesome. Listen to that music. Ooh, I like catchy music. It's like a dude with an acoustic guitar. I can just imagine that guy has like a big beard, or maybe he's weird looking. I imagine that guy might be like you, Steve. So the game is available on iOS for free 50. That's free dollars and 50 cents, except knock off that 50 cents. It's just free. It's also available on Android for $2.99. Or you can get it for free, but it has ads. Wah, wah. It's also in-app purchases. But that's okay, because it's still free. Hey, Trisha, you ever had the movies, and you're like, I wonder if there's anything after the credits after this movie. Yes, and then I'm like Google searching on my phone and trying to hide the light from everybody around I know. me. Well, guess what? There's an app called Anything After, and it tells you if there's something after the movie, after the credits. All the content on the app is 